In this video I am going to show you and talk you through on how to safely self-launch a kite during your kite surfing sessions. So let's get right into it. As you can see in this footage my kite and to be exact the leading edge of it is facing the wind as it should and I am placing myself near the edge of the wind window but still a little bit downwind so we are considering this as downwind setup. Now at this stage how do I know that I am at the edge of the wind window you may ask especially when you are a beginner. The answer is by using my kite as a point of reference meaning as long as I meet in line with one of the tips of my kite so as I stand I am facing the tip of my kite I know I am more or less at the edge of the wind window or least speaking I am very close to it and if needed I am adjusting accordingly pre-launch when my kite is in the C position. First of all you see me getting ready connecting my safety leash to the safety line. Since I have done the downwind setup my bar is all the way around meaning the blue is on the left side and the red is on the right side. By the way, the bar which I'm using is the Ozone V4 water contact bar. So red line is connected to the black side and the blue is blue. Next, I start to walk upwind around the compass. My bar is fully sheet out as you can see. So at this point, you don't even have to hold the bar. And my power trim is depowered. I walk past my kite using the hook of my harness to create some tension in the center lines. And I start to pull the side of the bar with the line connected to the kite tip which is further away from me. In my case the red line or red tip is further away from me so I pull on the black side of my bar. As I do that I watch my kite and I am allowing it to slide on the sand a little bit so it can open up with the wind and stand into the C position. At all times I am focusing more on creating tension in my center lines by using the hook from my harness rather than by sitting in or pulling my bar. How do I do this? Simply by pushing my hips back and leaning forward leading with my chest. As soon as the kite goes into the C position my bar goes the right way round. So make sure that the red line or red side of the bar in my case again is the black side of the bar is in your left hand. Next pull on the bar on the side to which you want the kite to fly. You can also use and pull on the leader line. The leader line is the one which is just above the floater but below the connection with the actual colored line. Many brands put a plastic cover or sleeve over the leader lines so you can easily recognize them and technically speaking the leader lines are coming out of your floaters and connect to the line. Remember not to pull past the end of the leader line because that is too far and you are going to start turning the whole kite. If everything is done correctly the kite is going to smoothly launch in the air and all you have to do at this point is to fly it along the edge of the wind window towards 12 o'clock. Here's also some useful tips which you can use during your self-launching learning curve. Tip number one is to keep in mind that if you ever get confused with your lines during launch, so if you are not sure if the red or blue should be on top or bottom, just let go of the bar while the kite is in the C position and the bar itself is going to show you the right way round of your lines. Just remember that the kite is in a vertical position meaning in the letter C and your bar should reflect that position of the kite so the bar should be in vertical position too. Tip number two is that the self launching on land is similar in a way to the water relaunch with an advantage of being able to position yourself easier in the wind window in relation to your kite. Hence that similarity we have to be cautious not to pull the kite too much on one of the lines so it won't collapse on its back ending up in the power Zone. Tip number three is that if you find yourself in a situation where your kite pulls a lot during takeoff, it shoots up quite drastically and gives you a little bit of discomfort, then make sure that first of all your power trim is depowered and focus on positioning yourself a little bit better in the wind window. So go a bit more upwind. You have to try an arrow in a low wind and pay attention to how your position in the wind window in relation to the position of your kite affects the power distribution. Tip number four. Your main connection point with the kite is between your hook on the harness and the chicken loop which is located on the center lines. That means you should always have tension on that point during the launch rather than creating too much tension in your back lines by sitting in the bar. 
Tip number five, put some sand on the kite tip which is going to be further away from you during the launch. That is going to help getting the kite into the letter C position without the assistant. Tip number six is that if at any point anything goes wrong, just let go of your bar, assess the situation if you've got time for it. And if you know that you won't be able to control your kite, use your chicken loop quick release. So in essence, your second safety system. You can even hold one of your hands on the chicken loop quick release throughout the whole procedure of self launching if it gives you additional peace of mind and sense of safety. The last tip for today, tip number seven, have one of your kite surf buddies with you for the first attempts near your kite but outside your wind window and outside the drop and the safety zones, yet near enough to react and help you handle your kite after any mistakes and if that help is needed. Let's quickly talk about when and why would you want to use this technique if most of you, especially at the beginning of your journey with kite surfing, have heard from your instructors or your buddies to always launch the kite with an assistant. Sure, if you are still a beginner, then stick with the launching with the assistant. But once you start to become more independent and advanced, you want to nail, be comfortable and especially familiar with the self-launching. Because you might find yourself in a situation, for example, where you're about to kite in a quiet location with just you and one of or two of your friends. Even your local kite spot can be fairly quiet, low-key type of spot with no kite surfers whatsoever. And you may find yourself to be the last one standing on the shore to get into the water and also there might be no option to use an anchor point for your launching and in those type of situations it is very useful to know this technique having this skill around your belt for sure adds a lot of confidence while handling your kite both on land and in the water and it's like a must know type of skill for any kite surfer in my opinion Practice your first attempts in low wind and plenty of space around you so if anything goes wrong then you stay safe and anybody around you also stays safe too. With all that being said, as always remember, be inspired, be creative and be active. All the best from Blossom Team, I'll see you soon, on to the next one.